Namaste. Hello, beautiful. How are you today? I've been sent a couple videos and there's some wild ones. Here's the thing. It's so hard for me to watch these bleach fail videos, but it's also just like really entertaining. It's like a love hate relationship I have with these videos. And we have two people today who really demolished their hair. I haven't watched them fully. I've seen the beginnings and I've seen the thumbnail. Definitely some disaster is gonna happen today. And I am somewhat ready for it, but also somewhat like just scared, but whatever, you know, that's like how life is. Also, you guys, I'm sure you've already heard by now. I have my first hair mask and my first moisture cream. Oh, it's gonna be available in four days on the 22nd. The moisture mask is called Prismatic Glow and the cream is called Electric Rain. And you can read all about them on xmodohair.com, linked below for you. They're stunning. These are two of my ultimate favorite products. I can't even say that because I love everything, obviously, because I, you know, created it. It kind of makes sense. These are great for my hair and anybody who has dry or processed damaged any kind of that hair and great for these people who we're probably gonna watch today. So, hey people, whoever I'm reacting to today, uh, you need this. <laughs> I should really just send you guys some. So proud of these. Get them on the 22nd. I'm so excited about it. So excited for you guys to have them in your hands and that's that. Moving on. So let's watch these two people destroy their hair. Let's do it. <laughs> Our first video is by The Realist Viet, and it's bleaching my hair gone wrong. That's not the first time I've heard that title used on YouTube. Of course, the first comment says, someone call Brad Mondo. If we listen closely in the distance, we can hear Brad Mondo crying. It's true. I got this bleach from eBay, and not gonna lie, it's like really Great. expensive, so I couldn't afford a developer. So I just got a developer from a beauty supply store. We are one second in. This is already very questionable. <laughs> oh, she bought the powder on eBay and it was very expensive. However, she couldn't afford to buy the developer. So she decided to not even just scratch that idea. And, and Bleach and developer work together. If you have one or the other, it's not gonna work as well. You might as well have done cheap powder with cheap developer instead of like expensive powder with you, whatever, you get it. Anyways, let's move on. I don't know how much powder I put in my cup but like I say it's my first time <laughs> like my first time ever bleach my hair at home so I really? do not know how to work this thing Alright, so I'm gonna be brushing my hair. So she's starting off with about two inches of her natural hair at the root. Then she has this blue thing going on. Probably like a blue black box dye that faded out. I'm literally guessing. Actually, it's probably lightened and then blue on top. So it's probably gonna lighten very fast. And using 40 volume with powder is probably gonna be too much for her hair. It's gonna break off, but let's see where it breaks off and how it happens. I just realized this girl had copyright music in this whole video, so I had to mute her. I'm sad about it. So I'm gonna have to narrate what she's saying. Of course, again, like I always have to do because people use copyright music all the damn time and I can't make them stop and it's annoying. Ugh. And that was a rant about copyright and music and end scene. So people do this thing between copyright music being used in videos and not using enough bleach. Those are the two things that I see so often and it drives me nuts, dude. There is no lightener on your hair. <laughs> What? When you put lighter on the hair, it's supposed to look creamy and white on the hair. It's supposed to have that much on there that it's like fully saturated and fully covered. And this looks like you literally put dried toothpaste on your hair. That's not how you do it. And I think I said that a million times. Stop playing me, do it correctly, or don't do it all. Okay, people? Don't do it at all. One hour and 30 minutes. I don't know what the directions are on this exact lightener, but usually lightener only works for like an hour at most. It dies off after that and gets dry. It looks like it's already dry on her head, so I don't see this really going anywhere after like 30 minutes and then it's done, but we'll see. Oh, so she says she left it in for four hours. And this is the real kicker. She fell asleep with it in her hair. <laughs> Stop. And she is realizing how bad it looks. Oh no, no. Her hair is jacked, it is wrecked, it is mutilated already, and we are only two minutes and 40 seconds into this video. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna bleach it again or do something that's more damaging? <sighs> Literally, nearly nothing happened to her hair besides the breakage that she got, so that's disappointing. Oh no, her hair is wrecked. 
She has dark roots, orange upper midsections, and then she has blue midsections, and then her ends mutilated white. And it's a new color that I just made up. It is called mutilated white. They are grasping for their lives and made the best hair piece win. Hopefully some of them stay on her head. And now this is what the brush looks like. And she said she brushed it out and a lot of her hair fell out. Surprise, surprise. Oh no, don't pull it. Don't pull it. Ew. <clears throat> Dead hair looks so gross. I'm getting chills. Sorry, I'm the most dramatic person. Anyways, why don't we talk about what she should have done? <laughs> Okay, so she wanted her hair lighter. She didn't really say what she was going after here, but probably a color removal process would have been best for her. Honestly, I can't really give many recommendations because I don't know what she started with or what was under that blue. She kind of just like bleached it with 40 volume and left it on for three hours. I wouldn't do any of and now we are breaking out the kitchen scissors and just chopping off her ends. And honestly, thank God, because those things would have just fallen off themselves. <sighs> this is just getting worse and worse. What the hell is happening? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You tell me what's going on. I can't do this. Oh my God. Look at the way it all sticks together in a big ass clump. I have no words. Yo, she needs more cut off. At this point, just shave your head. I'm sorry if that's harsh, it needs to go. It's probably not even gonna dry. Watch, it won't even dry. Yo, what in the? This is all my hair. If you guys ever need to see what happens to hair if you over bleach it, then this. Oh no, babe. Oh, I kind of feel actually really bad. Oh. I'm using this hair dye. Oh, good. Okay, so she did use demi permanent color. I'm pretty sure. Thank the hair gods that she did not put more ammonia on her hair and continue to lift it because guess what? Demi permanent color deposits only, so you're not gonna get any lifting. And thank. God. If she would have put box dye on top of that, I would have cried and just gave up. Ugh, this poor girl. Listen, girl, find me on Instagram, grab on NYC, and DM me your address so I can send you my new products because they will save your hair and they'll make it feel a lot better. Seriously, I'll send you it for free. I got you, girl. Okay, guys. So my it hair looks so much better. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, so I, I'm about to take a shower and I'll be right back after I get out. Yo, wish me luck, cause Good this luck. color look kinda dark and I'm looking for a bright color. Yo, oh my god, what happened was my hair, it like the hair color, I think it's conditioner, I don't think it's a hair dye, like it fades away. Why do I love this girl? <laughs> oh, oh, I wanna help. And now The reason why it didn't take, first of all, yes, it is not permanent color. It is demi permanent color what you used. Second of all, your hair is extremely porous. It probably is not able to hold any hair color in it. So your hopes of going and coloring a different color are very slim. It might just not hold the color at all because basically your cuticle of your hair is just blasted wide open and it just stays open because it is so damaged. And what happens is the color molecules go in the hair and they just slip right back out the the moment it hits warm water or water at all, it just all comes right out. Yeah, that's probably what happened. You know what? I could put hair wax. I love this girl. Yeah. I love her. But still, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this is a whole fail fail, like, yeah. very bad. She was so nice, but like, since I didn't get her that whole dad bought me hair dye and like freaking food and stuff. Like, we're gonna have a whole snack on Monday. And she gave me like $10. Like, come on, I went to her house. Like, why did I just see box that come out of that bag? What are we doing she here? Her money, but she actually gave me money. So basically, I feel so grateful for her. But I'm gonna just like finish dyeing my hair on Monday. I'm not Monday, but I'm gonna dye my hair like new tomorrow, hashtag Monday. So this is when, because right now, the thing I put in is um, a conditioner. It's not a hair dye, it's a conditioner. No, it's not. It's a hair dye. <laughs> oh, it's just not a permanent one. She's about to put a box dye over it. It already looks great, too. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Oh my gosh, she literally saved my freaking life, bro. Like, no, I'm gonna be walking she didn't. School, look all crazy and stuff. And you know, finding a red hair dye, finding a red hair dye is really, really hard. Okay, guys, 
so my hair wanna act good now. So like since I live that thing in, she actually give me color. Y'all, let me like I was so shocked. Like, okay, it's like a conditioner, so it doesn't really do anything. I don't understand. What am I missing here? She's saying it's a conditioner, it's not doing anything. Her hair literally just changed colors drastically <laughs> from what she had before. It is nowhere near what she had before. So how did it not work at all in her eyes? I don't understand what's going on. <sighs> all right, well, that's the look that she ended up with. The realest Viet. Please don't ever color your hair again yourself. That was a tragedy, but it was very entertaining. So thank you for recording it. But wow, don't ever do that again, ever. Oh. Educate yourself about hair color before doing it. Come on, binge watch hair just reacts, okay? <laughs> oh my God. I need a break after that one. That was a lot. All right, anyways, let's not take a break. Let's move on to the next one, which seems like it's just as bad or worse than what we just watched. Let's do it. Next video is by Louis Abad. Abed. Abed. Bleach is not shampoo. Everything does not lather, babe. Brad Mondo. But Brad Mondo needs to watch this. Brad Mondo has left the chat. I'm here, guys. I finally see it, and we're gonna watch it. I don't know what's going on, but what has happened to your hair? How do we put this in nice terms? It's looking crazy, and we haven't even started the video yet. We haven't even started coloring it yet, and honestly, it already looks like it has gone through it. And I'm sure you're a great person. Put down the bleach. That's it, like I'm alone and I'm bored and like I clearly have nothing else to do. Clearly I'm bored, so I have to, I'm gonna bleach my hair. I usually don't do it myself. It's usually my mom or I go to my hair person. But you know what, I'm bored. So like, I was like, why not? Oh God. We're putting BW2 on the hair. I've commented about BW2 a few times. I really don't have anything against BW2 bleach. It has application. There are times to use it. Today is not the day for this guy. It's not. I wouldn't put BW2 over that existing color. Oh girl, it, that is some strong bleach. Oof. I just poured this. I know that. I okay, he's using 20 volumes, so that's good. Um, and okay, so it might not be that bad. Except the title says my hair fell out, so. It's gonna be that bad. I feel like I'm doing a good job so far. Like, I feel like I'm a salon person. Also, I didn't wash my hair for a couple days. So that's why I also want to do it. Because I'm like, I did not not wash my hair for a couple days to not do it. Because you're not supposed to wash your hair. He knows that, at least. Why are we even bleaching the hair when it is already bleached to death? And you have about a centimeter of roots. Ah! You don't really want to do that because guess what? You're gonna get that little tiny root. It's gonna be really white. Then you're gonna still have those really yellow ends. You're gonna have those gray ends. And you're just gonna have another craziness going on, more just randomness going on. But hey, if you're into that, you are into it. Definitely recommend waiting four to six weeks to color your hair in between colors. You gotta let it rest. You can't always do it all the damn time, all right? Okay, I'm not trying to my own horn, and like, I know I'm not even like halfway done, but I feel like I'm doing really good. And like, I don't have the results yet, but like, I feel like they're really good. Also, why do I have man boobs all of a sudden? What the hell? I'm like, I'm back <laughs> me. To, like, third grade year me. I'm back. Um, I did my sides. I did. I don't know if I'm gonna do the back of my head. I kinda am stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure it all out as I go. Like, I don't know why I did this. This shit brings me back to like when I started YouTube. Hmm. Nostalgia. Oh no, you're painting on your ends again. They're gonna I fall I out. Just ruined my hair. I think I just ruined my hair for fun. I hope we didn't ruin my hair. If I have to get a buzz cut again, Okay, so I used to color my hair like this all the time. And like, I f***ed up my hair the last time I kept doing it. Why are we doing it again then? Dead, like literally springy. Oh yeah, we just saw a girl have that exact issue happen to her. And we're probably gonna see it on you again. But it became stretchy, so I had to like cut it off and I had to get a buzz cut. And if I have to do that again... You're going to have to do that again. What if I just grab it and then just like do it like shampoo? Okay, that like is gonna hurt my hands, but like f it, like I don't know how I'm no! gonna come back. Like, that doesn't even sound professional, but like, like no hair person would advise to that. No, it's gonna be so uneven. <laughs> okay, mm, I don't want to. That just sounds ugly. Okay, so we're just gonna. <laughs> oh. We're just gonna grab this oh. and start f scrubbing it like it's. Shampoo, because I, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do. But it's not shampoo. But it's not shampoo. It's 
not. By the way, um, if you do want to make it into a lathering type of moment, you can actually put a little bit of water and a little bit of shampoo in the mixture. We call it a bleach bath at the salon. Like we want to get rid of like a surface layer color and really quickly get rid of it. Say somebody comes in with light blue and they want their hair to be white again. We will do a quick bleach rinse. We call it like a rinse. We'll bring it to the sink. We'll shampoo the hair and we'll just quickly run some lightener through and it usually takes off that top layer of color. That's probably what I would do for him. Just very quickly go through some 30 volume, some lightener, some water, and some shampoo and get that little residue of like silver going on on the top of his head so it all evens out and turns into like a nice even tone of blonde. I wouldn't put 20 volume on those ends, however, and leave it there and let them process. No, thank you, ma'am. No! No! Watch it actually come out good. Stop scrubbing your head with the bleach. Stop scrubbing your head with the bleach. Your head is gonna hurt so bad. It is going to burn, you are making abrasions on your head and there's lightener already on it. Eek, no, stop, make it, no, don't do it for, no. <laughs> this is me bored at home recording myself because I have nothing <laughs> If you do this at home, like you didn't learn this from me and like I didn't tell you to do this. My face that is noise. Sure burn, but like, beauty's pain. <laughs> what did I just do? This whole video is just so ugly. I'm literally naming this video ruining my hair. Cause that's what Stop I just did. combing I like, the bleach like, through your hair. your hair. Don't comb the bleach through your hair when it's already processing. Your hair is at a very, very fragile state while it's processing. You do not want to take that comb and then comb through the lightener that is already doing damage to the hair. Ugh. I'm not going to survive through this video. Low-key, kind of doing what I wanted to. What I just did at the top, I kind of want to do it I'm here. not. This is... Because low-key, I think I actually just did something. But like at the same time, I don't know because is my the, hair is falling yeah. out. We're just gonna have to like learn and watch. Like we're learning together. I'm gonna do that same shit and like just grab it and go for it. Okay, scared again. My fingers are literally like. Yo, why on fire are your roots like bit, piss yellow? It's okay. I'm gonna make sure like the little crown right here is covered because that's the part I I can least see. Ah, <sighs> damn it. I don't even know what I just did. Like, what did I just do? Oh, a lot. You did a lot that you shouldn't have done. I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna see how this goes. You're telling me you just left that 20 volume and lightener on those already dead ends for 20 whole minutes? I quit. No, I quit. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want my hair to be yellow, though. And I don't know how the back is gonna look. Because... That the is the least method, of your we just invented. I just rinsed my hair. Well, duh, like I'm wet. It's really yellow, really white. I don't know how dead it is. Like, while it's still wet, it's still smooth, I won't know till it's dry. Listen, the color looks bad, but it's not like, it's, it's still there. It's like on his head. It's not as bad as the last girl. I'm gonna tone it and hopefully it's not this yellow with purple shampoo. And I usually, I think I do tone it, like my mom. And when I, I know when I go to the salon, they like dye it and tone it and everything, but so I'm doing this by myself and I don't have half of the things I need. So honestly, I know that, uh, you know, we're taught in hair school and a lot of places say to not ever use more than 20 volume on the scalp. However, I have never in my life followed that rule. I have always used 30 volume on the scalp and everybody's been fine and I've been fine. I would highly recommend to this kid, use 30 volume and lightener on your scalp because your hair is clearly more resistant to lightener uh, and you can definitely get away with using a higher developer on your scalp, but don't, please don't pull it through your ends again. If you do that again, your hair is 100% not going to be on your head anymore. The ends turned <laughs> gross, didn't they? So I'm, I'm oh. like, so this is like the end result. It's pretty nice, like it's pretty white. I put some purple shampoo, but you know, are still a little yellow, that's fine. But I'm blow drying in. What did you just say? What did, what did you just say? Are we looking at the same head of hair? Did you just say it looks nice? Am I being mean? Okay, I'm gonna be honest today, I'm being a little bit rude, but I would say this to his face also, okay? Girl, it ain't white. First of all, your ends are purple silver, the roots are yellow, and it makes literally no sense what's going on to me, but uh, okay. No. There's like hair falling out. That isn't funny. Oh no! Okay, thankfully it's not the hair on the front, but it's like this 
I'm surprised it's not all falling out. I'm gonna put lots of bleach on there because, like, I'm gonna make sure, like, the little crown right here is covered. It's always the crown that falls out first. Like, here it's good. It's just this crown area. I don't know if this is going up, but if it does, congratulations. You watch this. You watch me move on here. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. It's honestly really nice. Like, I love my hair. Like, I get compliments on it all the time. It's really white. I never put purple shampoo in it after that, and little by little, it just turned whiter and whiter. Louis, you too. Please send me your address. I will send you my products to cure this hair. I just wanted to, like, upload this before I do that hair video. So, yeah, like, get prepared for that. Like, hold on to your... What is he doing? Hold on to your horses. I don't have a bald spot. Um, my hair is not that damaged, honestly. It's a little damaged, but like, I bleached it, so like, go figure. Don't try this at home though. That shampoo method is like stupid, but I'm actually gonna go bleach my hair right now, and I'm probably gonna do that method again, because it works, so like, why not? Um, but don't do it. You don't do it. Let me do it, and let me just be the guinea pig for us. I'll see you guys soon. Louis, sometimes you just need to put down the bleach. And hold up. I just went on his channel. Um, he actually ended up shaving his head, and I am so shook at the thumbnail I just saw. We have to see this real quick. Holy crap. I'm fine. I'll be okay. It's time for a new He's still bleaching it. There's nothing wrong with, like, change. Getting a little it looks so good. I think this is a cool color. Ah! Like, oh my god, he looks so good. Tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Lewis. Okay, anyways, <laughs> Louis, yes, you look amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This is so good for you. I love the blue and I love the shaved head. It really compliments your face shape a lot and it looks stunning. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad it's had a happy ending. Oh my god, I really didn't think it was going to and I am beyond happy about this. This looks sickening. Ah, okay, whoa, awesome. Yes, Louis, thank you for that. That was great. Okay. <laughs> That was a lot today. Oh, I need to see my therapist. After this video, I was up. There was highs, there was lows. There was a lot going on there. Very entertaining, if I do say so myself. Wow, okay. You know what I always say, if you're gonna ruin your hair, please record it <laughs> and don't put copyrighted music in it. Thank you so much. I don't know, I don't really have anything else to say. That was basically it. That was wild. Follow me on Instagram, follow X Mono Hair on Instagram. Oh, and on Twitter. Thank you, sir much and get ready for the release of my new products on november 22nd and that is all for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget don't you forget to live your extra life and i will see you next time bye